Peloton's been having delivery issues. This could potentially help Peloton bring more of their manufacturing into the United States. Be interesting to see if if Peloton's able to now have uh, multiple different connected machines. Are they just going to have a cycling bike or are they going to have other connected equipment? Peloton acquired this company called Precore for $420 million. You can see here, Precore was owned by a Finnish conglomerate called Amer Sports or Amer Sports, uh, which is, I guess it's a conglomerate based out of Finland. Um, it owns, you know, Precore was one business unit within, you know, in, inside of this company, which makes a lot of tennis rackets and a you know, bunch of other kind of sports and fitness related equipment. Peloton bought this. And I think there's two reasons behind why they bought it. Overall, I actually really, I actually really like the acquisition. Peloton, um, despite them using the word platform, I think 90 plus times in their uh, S1, it's not a platform business. You know, they have their own uh, connected bike equipment. They have their own, um, you know, instructors that help you on your live streams and so on and so forth. But uh, it doesn't have that that consumer, that producer, that two-sided uh, marketplace type relationship. Um, you know, there isn't an ecosystem of all these different third-party creators or something of the sort. I mean, maybe they could go in that direction and they are trying to dabble with things, but but they aren't at kind of that that platform status, despite using the word all over their S1. Anyway, Peloton will say part of the reason is to uh, bolster their domestic manufacturing because Precor is it's a company based out of Massachusetts and they have, I think, a couple of manufacturing facilities in the U.S. Peloton's been having delivery issues. This could potentially help uh, Peloton bring more of their manufacturing into the United States. And then the other thing is that Precor makes a lot of fitness equipment for gyms. If you think about what is, you know, what is Peloton's trajectory? Um, are they just going to have a cycling bike or are they going to have other connected equipment, right? We've seen uh, Mirror get acquired by Lululemon. You know, we've seen other kinds of this connected sports equipment um, come into fruition. And so to me, what's exciting about this is it opens up the opportunity for Peloton to say, hey, how else could we bring this connectivity, this kind of digital um, experience coupled with, you know, the physical equipment? How can we kind of bring these things together? And Precore will give them a great mechanism to try to deliver on that because Precore is already making a lot of other kind of high end machines. We'll see where this goes. $420 million. It's not a big acquisition by any, by any means uh, for Peloton. Um, but I think, you know, it gives them some kind of immediate synergies. Peloton market cap, $44 billion. So this is less than 1% of their value on this pre-core deal. But if Peloton can start, instead of kind of being a one-hit wonder with, you know, the the bike, be interesting to see if if Peloton's able to now have uh, multiple different connected machines that, you know, are, are kind of standalone uh, high-end pieces of equipment that, that the consumer would want to buy. And Precore helps them break into more of the commercial, the gyms, the hotels uh, industries as well. Anecdotally, I've had friends that are using Peloton. And, you, you know, if you do anything in life over and over to the extreme, it's not good for you, right? So if, if, if all you're doing is cycling all day long, you can get injured. And, uh, and I've had friends who have gotten injured or who have pulled things in their back and it's not anything really against Peloton, but it's just, you know, if that is your, if that's all you're doing and all you're doing is riding the bike, you know, you can be more injury prone to that. So to me, it makes sense for why Peloton wants to diversify, get into other product lines. And this seems like a, a relatively inexpensive way to do it. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.